Assalamu alaikum. I'm Iman. And I'm Dana. Welcome to our channel, Ken's Karam Stories, where we share our stories along with our mama, mama. baba, and our little sister, sister Maria. Maria. Remember our last video how we talked about coronavirus and COVID-19? We even talked about how we can keep safe from coronavirus. Remember one of them was using a hand sanitizer when you don't have a hand washing facility. But nowadays we are facing a shortage of hand sanitizers and face masks due to the high demand. Even if it's available anywhere, it's so expensive and there are some unknown brands that we cannot completely trust on. Hand sanitizer is necessary. For example, my Baba goes out sometimes and he will need a sanitizer to keep himself safe from the germs. So what will we do if they are not available to the shops, Jenna? We will make it! Let's see how we can make our hand sanitizer at home. We just need, need two ingredients. That is easily available too. First ingredient we need is rubbing alcohol or isopropyl alcohol. And it should have 99% alcohol and nothing below that. And only then our sanitizer will be able to kill the germs. And what is the second ingredient we need to have? Aloe vera gel. Yes, we need aloe vera gel. So we will show you how to make a hand sanitizer at home. With just two ingredients, aloe vera gel and rubbing alcohol. We will be needing two parts of rubbing alcohol and one part of aloe vera gel. Rubbing alcohol alone will be very harsh on our skin. So adding the aloe vera gel will make the sanitizer safe for our skin. Do you know how the hand sanitizer help us? When we put the hand sanitizer, the rubbing alcohol coats the germs and the germs burns out. That means the germs are killed and the germs can no longer spread diseases. Do you know which plant is this? Aloe vera plant. Good! You can also make hand sanitizer with this plant. Can you see these leaves are very thick? It contains the aloe vera gel. see the gel inside these leaves you can also use these for your hand sanitizer if you are using this one this cannot stay longer as this is a fresh aloe vera the shop bought aloe vera gel contains preservatives that makes the aloe vera gel stay long and which in turn help us sanitizer last long now let's, let's make a hand sanitizer we will take 90 ml of rubbing alcohol I have a 30 ml cup here, so we will take it 3 times. So that is 90 ml of rubbing alcohol. Now we are going to add the aloe vera gel. We will be needing half the amount of the alcohol. That is 45 ml. This tablespoon is 15 ml. We will need to take it 3 times to make it 45 ml. We should have a clear liquid. Mix until everything is dissolved. You can also add some essential oils for the fragrance of the hand sanitizer. 
It's completely optional. I have a lavender oil here. It gives a good lavender aroma plus it has antiseptic properties. Most of the essential oils have antiseptic properties. Antiseptic means it can prevent the growth of disease causing germs. Essential oils are very strong so use it very less. I am going to just use one drop of it. Now we will pour this hand sanitizer into small bottles. Squeeze bottles like these and Spray bottles like these are the best choices for hand sanitizers. You can use old sanitizer bottles as well. Or you can reuse any empty bottle at home. Now we are going to pour it into the bottles. Remember, hand sanitizers don't replace hand washing. So wash your hands whenever you can. And only use hand sanitizers when you don't have water. So this is how you make sanitizer at home. And don't worry if it's not available in the shops. You can just make it at home. Please subscribe, like and share this video.